Hi guys, this is Young and I'm here with Pocket 2 with the ultra wide lens on and of course with the wireless mic and today I want to talk about five things that I absolutely already love about Pocket 2 and of course there are already great things about Pocket series not just Pocket 2 but also applicable for Osmo Pocket the great camera quality which can be used as selfie or front facing camera and also both camera is very good at focusing especially daytime I might say Pocket 2 might be slightly better at focusing, but not so noticeable. And both cameras boast a different gimbal mode to suit your need. Follow, tilt lock. And FPV. And both are motion time lapse beast absolute beast in such a tiny portable camera so the first thing that i really like about pocket 2 is that it is the 93 degrees field of view wider angle so i don't have the wider angle lens on anymore but this already my face is actually sort of reasonable size within the frame which is fantastic But Pocket 2 also has zoom if you don't need wide angle lens and 2x zoom for 4K resolution is actually quite handy and it closes up more than Osmo Pocket field of view of 80 degrees. And the second thing that I really like about Pocket 2 is the wireless mic module within the creator combo set right now so i'm just gonna so i'm just gonna clip it back on here a bit more natural kind of placing and there is a cascade of water and also actually there is a what is that a caterpillar tractor behind me making a lot of noise but i think you can still pick up my voice i hope so so that it proves that this mic actually picks up voice really, really well. So what's really great about this is that it actually shows a mic sign in the display, so I know. And also, when I turn on the mic, it actually instantly gets connected to Pocket 2. However, let me just turn it off. Now it shows that mic is disconnected. And with all the surrounding noise, if you get really up close, then the mic within the device will pick up your voice. Okay. The third thing that I particularly like about Pocket 2 is the case. It packs every bit and bob safely inside a case, including the ultra wide lens, which can be attached to the magnet in the middle. And the entire Pocket 2 with do it all handle still attached can go in safely into the case and also the wireless mic module at the top and the mini tripod at the side. And the fourth thing that I particularly enjoy about Pocket 2 is that it has the lanyard attachment to the body of Pocket so you can have your Pocket 2 safe at your wrist. So this time I hope I'm not going to kill off my Pocket 2. And the final thing that I particularly enjoy about Pocket 2 so far is the night time. During night time with the improved lens, it actually captures everything bright. I think it's perfect, especially if you're keen on vlogging at night as well. So do you think it's a big improvement in Pocket 2 from Pocket 1? What do you guys think? Well, for anyone who already has Pocket 1 with wide-angle lens and also mic adapter, then maybe you should just keep Pocket 1 because camera quality and so on, I think it really depends on your own preference. But for me, I do like the wide-angle lens without the need of extra lens and also I do like self-vlogging and the zoom function. But for me, because the Pocket 1, the gimbal is a bit damaged, so I'm actually going to use Pocket 2 from now on. But is the only love that I have for Pocket 2? Well, there are actually a couple of annoying things that I want to talk about, which will be in my next video. So please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and see you.